Moving on to the next test question. So a hockey card is purchased in 1996 for $20 and the value increased by 5% every year. We have to write an equation that models the value of the card given the number of years since 1996 and then we have to determine the value of the card or the increase in the value of the card in the 15th year after it was purchased. This question is actually more difficult than it looks, especially the second part of the question when they're asking for the increase in value of the card, but we will get to that. Let's first get an equation that models this scenario. So let's draw a timeline here. So we're told that a hockey card is purchased in 1996 for $20. So this here is 1996. And let's say that, uh, let's introduce a variable here, t. Let's say t is the number of years since 1996, right? Because we're modeling the value of the card given the number of years since 1996. So that means in 1996, the t value is zero. And then in 1997, t value would be 1. In 1998, that's two years after 1996, so t value would be 2, et cetera, et cetera. And we're told that every year, the value of the card is increasing by 5%. So we know in general, let's do a little review here, that the final value of something that follows an exponential pattern is the initial value 1 plus r to the power of t, or x, where t or x are the number of periods. In this case, the number of years since 1996. Well, we know the initial value of the card is $20, and it's increasing by 5% every year. And this r value here, if you remember from the lecture videos, it always has to be in decimals. So this would be 1 plus 0 0.05, which is 5% in decimals, so 1.05 to the power of t, right? So the value, let's call it the value of the card as a function of t. So this capital V here just represents the value of the card. So that there is the equation that models this scenario. That's the first part of the question. Second part asks, determine the increase in value of the card in the 15th year after it was purchased. Now you gotta be careful with this question because it's asking for the increase in value. So the increase is actually the key word here. So they're not asking for the value of the card after 15 years, because that would be pretty easy. You just plug in 15 here into the equation. They're asking for the increase in value of the card in the 15th year. So here's what I mean by that. Let's say card is purchased here, so at a T value of zero. One year goes by, so that's this first year. Then the second year goes by, so that's T value of two. Third year goes by. So let's cut this back and let's say instead of asking for the increase in value of the card in the 15th year let's say they were asking for the increase in value of the card in the third year right and then we'll use that same pattern for the 15th year just like so i could show it on a timeline so the first year is here the second year is here and then the third year is here so they're asking how much did the card increase in that third year so how would we do that well, we would find the value of the card at time three. So in 1999, right? Three years after it was purchased. And we would also find the value of the card in time two, right? Two years after it was purchased. And to get that increase in value from here to here, we would just simply subtract these, okay? So if they're asking for the increase in value of the card in the third year, we would take V of three, and subtract v of two. And that would give us the increase in value in that third year, the difference. So if we take this pattern and use it for the 15th year, well, this is the third year between two and three. So that means the 15th year is gonna be what? In between 14 and 15. 
right? Does that make sense? Between a time value of 14 and 15, that's going to be the 15th year there. So knowing that, basically the increase in value in the 15th year is basically equal to the value of the card 15 years after it was purchased minus the value of the card 14 years after it was purchased. Basically that difference there. So we would just plug in 15 and 14 into this formula. So V of 15 would be 20, 1.05 to the power of 15 minus V of 14 would be 20 times 1.05 to the power of 14. And then that difference is going to give us the increase in value. And when you do that in your calculator, you end up getting $1.98. So that is the answer to the second part of the question. Right? So be careful with questions like this. Make sure you read them very carefully. They're not asking for the value of the card in the 15th year or at the 15th year, 15 years after its purchase. Then we would just be finding via 15. They're asking for the increase in value of the card in the 15th year. So you got to find the difference between via 15 and via 14. And sometimes when you're dealing with DK problems or depreciation problems, they might ask you, for example, if a car is depreciating, how much did the car depreciate in the 10th year? Same sort of thing. You would make a depreciation formula. And if they were asking for the 10th year, you would take V of 10 minus V of 9. Right, to get just that depreciation in that uh, specific year. Right? So just be careful, be on the lookout for these types of questions.